For cheat games, MSP and PS10 money, check out my sponsor G2A, the link's down below in the description, and use the code RIG3 for 3% cash back. Alright guys, let me show you how to find some players who are going to be really good to snipe on FIFA 21, so if you guys will enjoy this video, and if you do, please smash that button down below. So for this method, it's going to be two non rare gold cards. Now for the ones that are selling, they can be really good to snipe, but with these cards, they sometimes actually only sell for a few hours or a day or two. So um, for the ones I've shown this video, just going to be examples. And I do recommend trying to find drone players. And how you want to find drone players, you want to go onto a website like Footbin in the search, put gold non rare, 1,500 for the min price, 10,000 for the max, search up. And for the players that list on transferred cards, search them up in your console. And if they do sell for the price they shows, they're potentially going to be a good card to snipe. So um, that's how you can find the cards. And first up, Gonna go for Lingard just here, so for him in the second, currently 2,700, so gonna go and try and snipe him right now. Just gonna pick my first snipe there, so gonna pick up Lingard for 600 coins, and for snipes like this, these are the sword deals you're gonna see an absolute ton, like off this card as well. Gonna make about 1,900 coins after the eight tax, so it's a really good one to get, like sniping these sword cards. It can make you 100k coins like in about 2 hours sometimes, so um, yeah, they can be really good to snipe, and just going to list them up. Right, so I've just going to pick up another 5 cards here, so to pick up these 5, and also the first card, it took around 10 minutes, so um, on that occasion he was popping up a decent amount from these cards, probably going to make about 8,000 coins, and like 8,000 coins for 10 minutes worth of sniping is pretty good. Next up for this video, I'm going to go for Gabriel just here, so for his price the second, he's currently 4,000 coins, and for him, He's actually been selling for a decent price for a while now because, like, he's quite good for a few SBCs. They used to actually be a slime field with Brazilian goalkeepers, but unfortunately for that one now, it's not really that good. But for Gabriel, he's still a very good card to snipe by himself. So, gonna go and try and snipe him right now. Just gonna pick my first snipe there. It's gonna pick him up 2,400 coins. So, that price there, gonna make about 1,400, 1,500 coins off him. Next one up, Scott picked him up at 700 coins just there, so for him, I've actually gone and picked up three cards so far, so picked him up at 2,700 coins, which I probably won't show, because of, I did want to try and pick up a little bit of a cheap one, and for this one, it's a fantastic deal, like for the prof on this card, it's going to be about, I'm not sure actually, it's about 3k coins, yeah, probably about 3k coins off him, so just going to list him up. Going into the next player for this video now, who's going to be draw rate just here, so for him, He's going to sell 2,100 coins, a little bit cheap compared to the previous cards, but still players like this, you can pick them up a time where you make like a 1,000 coins, so for him, I'm going to go and try and snipe them right now, and also one other thing I do want to mention, for some of the cards, they also have UCL cards, and if you pick them up, you can use make a few extra coins, like for his UCL card, currently sell 2,800 coins, so I'm going to go and try and snipe them right now. Just going to pick to my first snipe, and for this one, this one is actually a fantastic example for this video, so um... Gonna pick him up at 350 coins there, so for the prof after the tax, that's like 1,500 coins, and that's why it can still be good to snipe some of the cards that sell for around 2,000 coins. So for him, just gonna list them up right now. Next one up, Scully picked him up 1,200 coins here, so for him, I've actually picked up four cards, now it's hoping to pick up another cheap one, but most of them do seem to be around this price just here, so this will probably be the final slide for the video, so just going to list them up right now. Right, so all these cards here, gone and sold, so made some nice profit off this lot, so for these three players, they are just examples, like with the non-rare gold cards, their prices, they changed an absolute ton, like once I upload this video, these cards may be 500 coins, so with this method, you do need to find your own cards, so down below in the comment section, We'll put a link to a page on Footbin which will show the non rare gold cards that are selling them for them cards. Just flick through them on the market, and if they are selling for the price that it shows on Footbin, then they could be pretty good to snipe. So we'll be up for this video as well now, so hopefully you enjoyed it. If you have, make sure you smash that like button down below, and peace.